I'm really appreciating the topic of don't, you're not the stage manager. And one of the times I spoke with you before, you said, do you want to watch the movie or do you want to direct the movie? And I kind of love directing the movie. I kind of love the hands and the clay, but I understood Here's you. Here's the thing. You've directed the movie in step one. You've written the movie. It's fantastic. And now you want to see it playing. Not to critique it, not to find what's wrong with it and fix it, but to enjoy, to savor it. This is a question that comes up quite often. Abraham, you're making us schizophrenic. What do you want from us? <laughs> Do you want us to be deliberate creators or do you want us to be allowers? And we say, we want you to allow what you've already created. And that's what deliberate creation is. We want you to allow what you've already created. But the reason that this new conversation, and it is new, is so helpful is because for a long time, we love you so much. You've been trending. When Esther first met us, she was so excited because she said, now Abraham can keep me from falling in the potholes. They'll save me from the stuff that, and it took a while for her to realize that we're not her guardians. We're not guardian angels. That's something that humans have fashioned in their insecurity. We are cheerleaders. We're focused upon with great clarity and precision what she wants so that there's a steady beam so she can feel when she's on it or off of it and that's different what humans want is somebody to figure it out and solve their problems that's what you say till somebody thinks they've figured it out and tries to solve their problems and then you say you're not the boss of me no 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 because you really want to guide yourself you see but when you're on the lower half of the emotional scale you want people to save you when you're on the upper half of the emotional scale you want people to get out of your way so you can do your thing yeah so the schizophrenic question that comes from people is Abraham so am I supposed to set goals and do scripting and really think about what I want as in writing the script and so forth or am I supposed to chill and relax and allow and have fun and we say you already did the first part and source energy already did the second part now focus mostly on that third part and the thing is you never get it done so it goes like this here you stand there's stuff you don't really like so much and stuff you do like better and this contrast helps you to define sometimes deliberately and sometimes not deliberately what you prefer boom there it is a vibrational point of attraction your inner being's focused on it right away. Law of attraction begins to respond right away because of the focus of your inner being on that subject of your desire. And the cooperative components become more and more and more and more. But you may not, in fact, usually aren't a vibrational match to all this extra money because you don't have enough or to the new lover because you've still got the old lover or to a lover because you've got no lover or to something in your body that you don't want instead of improvement that you do want because what is we understand is more compelling because you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it and others are seeing it and talking about it and reflecting it back to you and people are trying to help you and trying to point out the thing and so you've got all this stuff about what is the reality that you're currently living that is more active than you want it to be but it's easy to understand why isn't it but now you start getting a handle on what deliberate creating is about and now you care more about tending to your own point of attraction so you Think about what you want and why you want it. And you do a better job as our friend just did about his wife and you come into more alignment with what you want and you close that gap deliberately. You do it on purpose. You feel your way into something that feels better subject by subject. You trend on subjects that feel better to you and you close that gap. And now you're a vibrational match to what you want and now it manifests in your experience in very real ways path of least resistance leads you to someone an inheritance happens you win the lottery in other words there are all kinds of ways that it comes but you close the gap and then the manifestation comes 
but something else came a whole new set of contrasting experiences because now you've got that extra million dollars and lots of questions about what to do with it and lots of people who think you should give some of it to them <laughs> and now even though you got what you thought you really really wanted you're launching all kinds of new rockets of desire and those new rockets of desire because you're expanding are now being received by your vortex and your inner being is focused upon them and now there's another gap between you and you and at first you're a little defensive about it it's my ticket I want it I get to keep the money get your own ticket get your own money we're just sort of channeling all of you but but as you are no longer pushing against instead tending to your own point of attraction you feel your way into alignment and then you close that gap again and now not only are you the recipient of what you first attracted but you're now a recipient of the new clarity that has come because you've done it again and again and again and again and again until after a while something really wonderful happens to you we wish this for every one of you because it is the most delicious part of being physical when you accept your eternal incompleteness and are savoring your becoming now you've got it and that's really what tending to your gap is that's how you stay in balance that's what finding that balance is this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment <laughs> If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.